Anywho, we form up with the Formula One drivers for the national anthem, and then we get straight into the race. One thing that is missing, though, is the um, pre-race entertainment. Where's that? Moment. I don't know. Can I beat Formula One 23's AI at 110%? Oh, all right. There you go. It's Mark of the Geek. And to answer the question, no. No, I cannot beat the AI at 110%. But I can beat the AI at 104% without penalties. Now, let's do a quick recap as I'm smashing down a Red Bull. So, if you aren't aware or if you're brand new to the series, welcome aboard. We're trying to beat the AI at 110%, but we are starting the F2 Championship with the AI at 100%. And every time we win a race, we're going to increase the AI by 1%. So, round one at Bahrain, we qualified fourth. And in the sprint race, we finished second. And in the feature race, we got a DNF. Round two, Jetta, we qualified in third. In the sprint race, we got first, which then bumps the AI to 101%. And then in the feature race, we get a DNF due to an engine failure. Round three, Imola, we qualify second. In the sprint race, we finish first. The AI gets bumped up to 102%. We do the feature race, we finish first again, two wins in a row, and the AI is now increased to 103%. We then head to round four, Catalonia, and we qualify in second. In the sprint race, we get a DNF due to another mechanical failure. And in the feature race, we finish in second. But we do end up leading the championship after that one. Round five, Monaco, we qualified first. And in the sprint race, we finished seventh. And in the feature race, we finished in first position, which then increases the AI to 104%. Then we head to Azerbaijan, Baku. We qualify in fifth. Sprint race, we get a DNF for crashing. And in the feature race, we finish in seventh position. Now we make our way to Silverstone for round seven. And this is where the series gets quite controversial. So in qualification, we qualify in seventh position. In the sprint race, we finish first. But, I must elaborate, we did have a 3 second penalty against us, which made us finish the race in 6th position, even though I finished first, I must stress. But, I am going to keep the AI at 104% and continue on from there. So, after that race, we get pushed down in the championship, we're no longer leading, we're now in 2nd position. We then do the feature race at Silverstone, and I get a DNF in that race. And here we are for round 8 at the Red Bull Ring, we qualify in first and we finished this sprint race in first position you beauty without any penalties so we now increase the ai to 105 percent and after we do that we get absolutely smashed and party on what i usually do best <laughs> and after the sprint race we still have liam lawson leading the championship with 141 points myself in second with 125 and tio porsche my teammate with 87 points mm. And where are we? We're at Austria for the feature race around the Red Bull Ring. It's round eight. We're in the F2 series, of course. So we've boosted up the AI and it is now at 105%. So you beauty, let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, and make sure to like, subscribe. The more likes I get, the more Red Bulls I drink. Now, before we get to the pre-race entertainment, we noticed that there might be a chance of rain in this race too, so that might make things a bit saucy. Oh my God! Anywho, we form up with the Formula One drivers for the national anthem, and then we get straight into the race. One thing that is missing though is the um, pre-race entertainment. Where's that? Moment. I don't know. So for those playing at home, we did qualify in first position in the previous video. Um, and yeah, that's where we're starting. We got a 1 minute 15.1 with Liam Lawson just behind us with a 115 also, but 1.7 tenths behind. Now again, the previous race, the sprint race, the AI was at 104%. We did win that race. The AI is now at 105%, which may make things a little bit harder for me. Now in terms of strategy, we don't really have any choice of what to choose from. So we're stuck with the alternate strategy. I'm going rebellious today. Anywho, we do our formation lap. Everything seems to be fine and dandy. We check the gears, we check the tires, we check the brakes. Just the usual, just to make sure everything's fine. The steering wheel is also fine as well. 
And um, yeah, we almost spin out here as well. Anyway, um, but one thing I have noticed um, in the last few races is that the engine hasn't died. So um, hopefully I haven't, you know, spoiled myself as I was, I don't know, doing this formation. I'm thinking um, the last time we had an engine failure was at Catalonia and that was round five or was it six. Either way, we haven't had an engine failure in a while and I'm thinking, uh, are we due for one in this race? I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to keep driving. We're going to keep our head down and hope for the best and not get a DNF or engine failure. And also wondering if we're going to get any rain during the race. Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Where are your parents? Now, sit back, relax, open a cold one, preferably Red Bull, and um, enjoy the race. And it's lights out and away we go! And we're off for the Austrian GP feature race for the Formula 2 series. And we've got a clean start as we approach the first corner and everything seems to be fine and dandy from my point of view. I don't care what's in front of me because it's all nice and clear and I don't care what's behind me because yeah, whatever, I don't care. I'm keeping my head down. I'm in first position. I'm absolutely loving it as we go into the next corner and trying to, yeah, just try to keep the car on the track. And yeah, we almost spin out and we have Liam Lawson smash into the our backside. Now, um, yeah, he got a bit aggressive on me there. But anyway, we're still in first position. There's no damage to the car, I think. And as we go into the second corner, taking it nice and easy because the tyres are quite worn out. And I'm thinking, yep, we have to definitely pit this lap. This is this is way too risky with these tyres because these are the same tyres from the previous race we just did, the sprint race. Anyway, as we go into the next corner, Liam Lawson's just over half a second behind us. And yeah, I'm just trying to nurse the car, trying to concentrate, trying not to spin out. And as we are about to enter the pit entry again trying to concentrate try not to lose the rear of the car and try to keep it in the bay and yeah we make it into the pit lane quite safely and we get our tires changed and Liam Lawson is now the race leader anyway let's look at the skits replay and have a ride on board with Liam Lawson to see what's going through his head and as he gets off to a nice clean start heading into the first corner and yeah also clean, nothing too crazy happening on his end. He's just got myself right in front of him. And yeah, just seeing how far back he is and see what he does in this corner since he hits into us. But anyway, I do miss the apex. I do run a little bit wide, but yeah, he just comes dive bombing and smashes into us. He does get a little bit of wing damage to his car, so um, sucked in. He also has Cordwell looking to overtake on the outside of the next corner. And we'll see what happens here. And they both, both break at the same time, but Liam Lawson has the upper hand. He has the inside. Looks like he has a better exit, but Cordwell is still right there, but he's starting to sit behind his backside now and looks like Liam Lawson is now comfortably in position two. And as I go into the pitch, you also see Liam Lawson running way wide into the second last corner and um, losing a little bit of time there. So hopefully we can, I don't know, undercut him in the pits. So as I'm getting my tyres changed to the super soft compound, we now have Liam Lawson, the new leader, as he goes into the first corner and everything seems to be nice and clean. Nothing too crazy happening still in the race. So after we've done our little pit stop, we're in second last position. Nasani has also pitted on the first lap. We're 17 seconds behind the car in front of us, which is Novalak. So um, we'll do this lap and see how much time we're gaining on them if they're going to continue on with the race. It's hammer time, Micah. It's hammer time. And as we go into the last couple of corners, we've gained three seconds on the car in front of us as they all start to go in the pits. We've also got a purple in sector two, but saying that we're not going to get the fast slap on this lap since it is technically an out lap. And anyway, as we go through the main straight, the start finish line, DRS is now enabled. We've also got a purple in sector three. And as we go into the first corner, just seeing if there's anyone in my scope of view and there's no one there. So um, yeah, awesome. We're now in P10, and I do notice as well that Liam Lawson is behind us as well, but we also have a clear 
view of sight from behind so excellent the undercut strategy has paid off and as we commence lap four we are the fastest on track at the moment with the 117.1 you bloody beauty and we're now in second position with for sure 10 seconds ahead of us so he has the medium compound tires and hopefully we'll catch up to him in the next couple of laps or so and as we now approach lap five we have the fastest lap again with the 117.1 again we've only gained three hundredths on that one and as I do notice as well as we are getting the fastest lap because I don't know because I'm just the best uh, we do notice that Liam Lawson is just slowly losing time on us which is giving me a bit of a decent confidence boost because in the previous race we were struggling to stay ahead of the cars behind us but it looks like we're starting to pull away from Liam Lawson approaching lap six now again we've got the fastest lap at 117.0 we've gained a few more hundreds on that that and we're now in first position we're for sure now going into the pits and as we do look behind us as well we also have Liam Lawson Liam Lawson losing almost I don't know probably half a second a lap on us now with the gap is now gone to around 6.5 seconds lap seven now and yeah the gap is increasing again and um I'm starting to think to myself, um, crap, did I increase the AI difficulty? I could have sworn I did. I don't know, but it just doesn't make sense why we're pulling away from Liam Lawson. Um, but saying that, whatever, we'll just keep driving. Who knows? He may catch up to us. Our tyres may wear out pretty quickly because I may be driving a bit too hard. I don't know. Um, yeah, there's a few thoughts going through my head, but still, I'm just like, nah, just keep concentrating. We'll have a, we'll have a geese after the race just to make sure I did increase the AI to 105%. Lap 13 of 40 now and yeah the gap is still increasing. We're now over 11 seconds in front of Liam Lawson. Um, I've literally gone into that headspace where I'm just doing consistent laps. Um, we're not doing anything stupid. We're not losing the rear of the car. The tires are still feeling really really good. Um, yeah I'm, I'm feeling absolutely I don't know awesome in this race maybe it's just all the red bulls i've been having lap 15 now i'm starting to think now nah, it's getting too good to be true we've got 12 seconds ahead of Liam lawson and i've just remembered uh isn't it meant to be raining today so i i contact the engineer you get a little bit of a weather update to see if we're getting any rain and apparently we've got no rain on the radar so okay we'll just we'll just keep on driving 23 laps into the race um the gap has, has stopped, I guess, increasing significantly. Um, we're now sitting around 14 seconds. The tires are worn out. We're on lap 23. I'm thinking, yeah, we need to pit this lap, and that's what we do. We go into the pit lane, and um, we get the tires changed, and um, we'll see if we still get spat out in front of Lawson. But saying that, I don't know if Lawson's pitting this lap. So anywho, we go into the pits, and yeah, we see Law Liam Lawson overtaking us in the pit lane, and he is now the race leader of the Austrian GP feature race in the Formula 2 series. Anyway, we get spat out of the pits in sixth position. Sato is just behind us. He's going for the overtake. I'm thinking, nah, we need to get in front of him. We're going to do the risky maneuver. We're going to break late because we've got fresh tires and that's what we do. But <laughs> Sato is not giving up, but we still overtake him. Um, thank goodness we didn't get any damage from that. It was pretty darn close. Heading on to lap 26 now and we overtake everyone in the pit lane and we now take the lead of the race once more and we also have the fastest lap with a 116.4 so you bloody beauty let's keep our head down we've got Sato behind us as well with a 4.5 but still we're gaining time away from him and um, yeah you beauty lap 28 now everyone has pitted and um, yeah, the gap has now increased to 22 seconds now with Liam Lawson in second and Tia Porsche, my teammate, in third. And um, yeah, we're just, I don't know, gaining a lot of time from them. I'm starting to feel like Max Verstappen again. The last time we had a decent gap like this was all the way in the Imola race um, a fair while back. But yeah, it's just, I don't know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just feeling good on this circuit and um, I do enjoy this circuit, so yeah sick lap 32 now nothing exciting happening on my end um yeah i'm just just doing my thing and um as we go into the next corner we do notice that my teammate Tio porsche is now in second position holy shit we need to investigate in the sketch replay 
So as we ride on board with Tia Porsche on lap 32, approaching the second corner, Tia Porsche goes on the inside, gets a better exit, and um, yeah, cleanly overtakes Liam Lawson. So yeah, we have an ART 1-2 right now. Lap 35, and we've caught up to a back marker for the very, for the very first time. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just absolutely stoked how we're driving. Anyway, um, we approach the back marker, overtake him, and um, yeah, that's probably the most exciting part of the of the race so far for me. And um, yeah, lap 40, it's the last lap of the race. We've got Theo Porsche, my teammate, in second position, Liam Lawson in third, and um, yeah, we have a 30 second gap, and I'm just starting to get really complacent and thinking, crap, did we increase the difficulty? Did we accidentally decrease it? I could have sworn I didn't. Um, but yeah, we're just, just gonna keep on driving, and um, yeah, just, just keep driving. And nearing the last few corners of the race, we do notice another thing appearing on the standings is that Liam Lawson and Iwasa decide to swap positions right there. And um, yeah, I need to investigate that now because that looks entertaining. So Liam Lawson in second, Awasa just behind him in third. Two Red Bull cars, but two different teams. And as they approach the second corner of the race, it's nice and scurvy, there's a little bit of rubbing and um, yeah, Awasa overtakes Liam Lawson on the outside, gets a better exit, and um, yeah, that's now Liam Lawson in fourth position. And as we approach the penultimate corner, um, that's it. We've won the race easily. A very boring race, but heck, a win's a win, people. A win is a win. You can win by a mile, you can win by a second or a microsecond, but still, take a victory, take victories when you can, you don't know when it's going to be your last because who knows, this might be my last victory. But um, anyway, I'm stoked with that, we've beaten the AI at 105% and ART are back with awesome maximum points too as Theo Porsche finishes that race in second position also, so congrats to him mate, congrats to him. It's about bloody time too. And with the most exciting race I've ever done, we are in first position, we've gained maximum points in this round, we've got the qualifying points, we've got the fastest lap in each race, and so yeah, we've got maximum points in that round, so that's awesome. We've got a grand slam. So yeah, we got 39 points against us. Tio Porsche finishing in second with 18 points, with Marina Sato in third with 16 points. And if we look further down, we see Liam Lawson in fifth position, not getting many points, 15. And um, well, how does that affect the driver's standings? And the driver's standings as follows. We have Liam Lawson in first position still with 153 points. Myself just behind, trailing by two points. And Tio Porsche, my teammate, in third position with 105 points. So the points in regards to first in position are quite close again after that round. So you bloody beauty. And if we look at the constructors, we have ART still leading the championship. We've extended our lead from Carlin in second with 184 points, and we have High Tech GP with 133. And that is now round eight completed. Finito, that is the Red Bull ring completed. And um, yeah, we've got maximum points out of that one, and I'm absolutely stoked with that. And um, yeah, I'm just absolutely stoked hopefully we can take it on to the next race and the next race is held at france now i haven't done this track before in the f2s so it's going to be very interesting how we do that and we also have the ai at 106 percent so it's going to definitely it's definitely going to make things a lot more interesting for us now um yeah let's just leave it at that now if you are watching one particular person red racist um <laughs> Heads up, you have won the Logitech G923. Heads up, you have won the lead. Yeah. You have won, won the one. You have won. T -t -t Today, Junior? Jesus Christ, I cannot talk. You have won the Logitech G923. So, um, yeah, go on to my Discord channel. We do have a Micah the Geek Discord channel. Log into there 
and um, hopefully we can go from there so I can give you this wheel sooner rather than later. So just a heads up, Red Racist, if you are watching, you have won a Logitech G923. I did announce it yesterday, but whatever. <laughs> um, let's just leave it at that. If you like today's video, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Mm. And um, let's just leave it at that. Other than that, we'll see you in the next video. I might see you on track one day. Other than that, have a skits race. We'll see you next time. Ciao.